Hello kids, welcome to Edio Kids. This is me, your mathematics tutor, and today I am going to teach you measure lengths. Okay, before going to our lesson, let's see what will you learn from this lesson. Firstly, from this lesson, you can select an appropriate tool to measure an object. From this lesson, you can measure the length of an object using a tool. You can measure the nearest inch, centimeter, yard, and meter from this lesson. You can explain why we use standard unit instead of non-standard units. Finally, you can select the correct units for each object from this lesson. Okay kids, let's study our lesson briefly. Kids, you should know small objects have small lengths and big objects have large lengths. We measure lengths using tools such as rulers, measuring tape, meter sticks, yard stick. Now, Let's see the units of length. Hours, minutes, and seconds are used to describe the time, while dollars, rupees are used to describe the money. In the same way, there are words to describe length. A unit of length tells us how big or small the length actually is. Some common unit of lengths are centimeter a centimeter is the smallest unit of length it is usually used to measure small objects the symbol of centimeter is cm you may have seen centimeter mark on a ruler or measuring tape let's learn how to measure using ruler firstly locate the centimeter on the ruler then Align the centimeter of the object with the first centimeter line on the ruler. Finally, find the length of the object. Okay, now let's see an example. Find the length of the pen. You are correct. The length of the pen is 10 cm. Let's go to next example. Find the length of eraser. The length of the eraser is 4 cm. An inch is another small unit of length. It is also used to measure small objects. An inch is about 2.5 times bigger than 1 cm. Let's see one example. Find the length of the paper clip. The length of the paper clip is 1 inch. Third unit is meter. A meter is a big unit of length. It is usually used to measure large objects. The symbol for meter is small m. One meter has 100 centimeter inside it, or one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Measuring tapes and measuring sticks are used to measure lengths in meter. Let's see an example. Find the length of tree in meter. The length of the tree is 1.6 meter. Other units of length. 
length has some other units such as foot, yard, kilometer, and mile. We use feet if there is more than one foot. Let's see one example. Find the height of the boy in feet. The estimate height of that boy is 3 feet. Next unit is yard. Yard are also a big unit of length. 3 feet makes 1 yard. 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. Usually we measuring land, swimming pool and football fields in yard. Next unit is hand span. Hand span is a measure of distance from the tip of the thumb to the tip of the little finger with the hand fully extended. Now, let's learn about why we need standard unit. We need standard unit for measurement to make our judgment more reliable and accurate. For proper dealing, measurement should be same for everybody. For sake of uniformity, we need a common set of units of measurements, which are called standard units. Okay kids, let's do some practices. The following questions will be based on estimating the lengths of objects in correct unit. Find the length of this bicycle. The length of the bicycle is 6 feet. Estimate the length of this blue chalk. The estimate length of this blue chalk is 3 inches. What is the estimate height of post lamp? The estimate height of the post lamp is 15 feet. What is the estimate length of this thread? The estimate length of this thread is 2 inches. Well done kids. You did a great job. That's all for today's lesson. I will meet you with another lesson.